So, good news everybody. Oh, some dirt on the hole. Good news everybody. Um, we're back to the uh, most popular show. Uh, books reviewed on SUP. We're on the SUP. We pedaled out in the middle of the ocean. Conditions aren't great. It's a little choppy. But uh, you guys demanded it. You want to hear book reviews on SUP because everybody knows that books taste better on the ocean. So, um, today we'll be talking about Margaret Atwood's The Handmaid's Tale. And you're asking yourself, Guy, why do I need to read a book where there's a TV show by the same name? Uh, yes, there is a Hulu TV show called The Handmaid's Tale, based on a novel by uh, Margaret Atwood. But, we want to know which one's better. Not that this is a competition, but let's just get down to it. Um, my wife saw the TV show, she said, oh, it's a great TV show, you should see it. And I, it's a bit for women, and I said, I'm so connected with my feminine side, it's for me. Um, so, I, I saw an interview with the uh, actors and producers, whatever, and it, they kept on talking about the novel, and I was intrigued. Because novels, when there's a TV show, or a TV series, or, you know, let's say Game of Thrones, or uh, Harry Potter. Sometimes, novels are the real thing, and sometimes, they're an accompaniment. Accompaniment? They accompany. They, well, most of the times, well, like Game of Thrones, the novels are great. I'm one of those people that think the novels are amazing. Uh, but there is no ending, and the TV show has gone beyond the novels, and I think the TV show is also lots of fun. Um, Harry Potter movies, they're fillers for the book. They don't stand out. On the other hand, they're real. Like, I don't think you can imagine those characters any differently than the way they're portrayed in the movies. Like, Harry Potter is Daniel Radcliffe, and Hogrid, and all the characters, and um, they just, we visualize them like in the book. But okay. Let's move on to The Handmaid's Tale. Um, the book. Well, it's not very good. Now, there will be some spoilers, but I'm not really going to spoil the plot point. I've not watched the entire TV show. I've watched three episodes, and they're much better than the book. Um, I hate just, you know, pooping on things, because there is a, a lot of good in the book. It's not a terrible book. Maybe it's a dated book. The book came out in 84 or 85, I think. And something about it just doesn't seem to to last. Um, but the TV show really, really works. So bottom line is, do I need to read the book to enjoy the TV show? No, you can completely ignore the book. It's a very little relevance. Um, Let's just, let's just end it on that. I feel like it's a great TV show. It's on Hulu and other illegal websites are available. And we're in the ocean. You know, welcome to Tel Aviv. Books on SUP. And we'll end it there. Have a good day.